Hello and welcome to Healthy Cooking 101 with the sisters. Today we are here with Nicole and my name is Sharon and we are going to make a very interesting Indian meal. But just before we do that, Nicole, would you please pray for us? Of course. Um, let's bow down and believe and pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of food and even the fact that we're able to eat and enjoy it. I pray that even as we learn this new recipe and teach it to your children, I pray that you may bless us, bless those who are listening as well. And Lord, may we be able to practice what we are learning and make our meals more interesting at home. In Jesus' name I pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. So today we are making palak tofu. I know many people know palak paneer. Or where did you hear palak tofu from? Um, Did you know palak tofu first or palak paneer? Palak paneer. Yeah, paneer is a, I think a kind of cheese. Yes, uh, but then they prepare the cheese. Indians prepare it in a special way. Ah, okay. So now we are doing a plant-based alternative for that. It is we use tofu instead of the palak instead of the paneer. paneer. And palak is just spinach yes. in Hindu. Yeah, so it's just spinach tofu. So, Nicole will just lead us through the ingredients. Okay. So, first, we are going to use spinach. And this spinach, Sharon, what did you do to prepare it? Can you this tell us? This spinach is blanched. What we mean by blanched is first we soaked it, we removed the stems, and then we soaked it in hot water for about five to eight minutes. And then we poured out the hot water and then added in some cold water. It sat in it for a little bit and then we removed it and now that's why it looks semi-cooked because it's actually a bit cooked the reason we put in the 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 spinach in cold water is to stop the cooking process after we put it in the hot water so your veggies don't turn into that ugly, ugly sorry ugly jungle green that veggies usually turn mm -hmm. into when they're overcooked okay so next we have tofu and um this tofu um, if you've interacted with tofu before, you know it comes as a block. So once we got this tofu in, in a block, um, we pressed it to remove the excess water, mm -hmm. cut it into cubes, and oven roasted it, and tossed it in oil, nutritional yeast, and salt. Nutritional yeast is optional, but it always adds a little, you know, nice flavor. It has mm. almost like a cheesy flavor, mm -hmm. as I can say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so that's what this tofu, we, were, we already did that. So we put it in the oven just for a few minutes for it to firm dry up. and mm -hmm. firm up. So um, we have um, our trusted ginger and garlic um, mixture. We have chopped up processed onions. We have a bit of tomatoes. And this is cashews, right? Or uh, yeah, we could use cashews, or but for this one we are using coconut. coconut. Yeah. So this is coconut cream. Sorry about that. And just a little bit of water. water just in case we may not need it but we, it's just good to always have water on hand when you're cooking just in case things dry up a little bit yes and as usual salt is always needed for our ingredients uh, for our cooking and then we have a spice mix mix Sharon did you want to tell us what's in the spices the spice mix has garam masala it has um, cumin powder and it has turmeric yeah and then there's just a little bit of salt at the bottom. I had actually added some salt. Okay, and these are whole cumin seeds. Mm -hmm. Whole cumin seeds. And um, just before we continue, um, I know many of you, if you've never interacted with tofu, I'm mm -hmm. sure you're wondering what tofu is. So tofu is basically, it's made out of bean curd. Mm -hmm. So it's made out of um, curdled soy milk. Mm -hmm. And it's compacted and it's made into this block. And it's another way of eating beans. Mm -hmm. um, A different protein, yeah. yes. yes. So that's what tofu is. It can be made at home or you can buy it from the store. Okay, so we'll get started. So we turn on the fire and let our pot get hot. And then we can add in some oil and then the onions. How many um, tablespoons of onions would you like? Um, maybe three. Three would be good. Let me first put in the oil, then we can... So we put about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of oil. And then the onions. You can already hear them starting to sizzle. Let me get something to stir that here. here it is. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, you can go ahead. So you just let that sweat a little bit. Um, 
We won't let it cook for too long because we're going to double cook it uh, because we will blend everything together with the spinach. So we'll just let it cook just a little bit and then we'll add in the garlic and the ginger and then we shall add in the tomatoes. Sharon, um, mm -hmm. I've heard you say before that we should always blend our tomatoes and just to clarify, why haven't you blended them? Because we will blend the tomatoes eventually. We, once we have cooked the onions and the tomatoes, we are going to mix it in with the spinach and blend it. So we'll still blend it. And it's going so, to end up being blended. Yeah. Right? Also, the reason I didn't blend it, even though I know I was going to blend it after, was because if you blend it, then it makes it watery. And we don't want a watery palak. We want something that's nice and thick. So you can add in the garlic, ginger paste. That's good enough. And the cumin seeds. So it's going to start looking like it's sweating a little bit. We'll give it about a minute and then we can add in the tomatoes. Maybe you can put in the tomatoes now and let them cook just a little bit. Yeah, so you just let it simmer for a little bit and um, yeah, so Nicole, as we wait for the tomatoes to simmer, yes. what other ways um, have you eaten tofu and which ones do you enjoy the most? Um, first of all, even the way it is right now, it's really mm -hmm. nice. So even preparing it like this and having it in a wrap, so you can get the tortilla wraps that are usually in the store, and then just ha have these veggies and a nice dressing, mm. and it's really amazing. I've had tofu almost like a dry fry. Um, I've had tofu in um, a curry, mm -hmm. um, and I've had... If I can say tofu looking like scrambled eggs, mm, like min minced mm. tofu, and yeah, I've had a good experience with all all forms and ways of eating it. And so, you, what's your okay. favorite? For me, this is my favorite, and I think that's why I'm really enjoying doing it. Yeah, um, it's a favorite in my home. It's uh, I find it's also a quick and easy way to prepare a meal because then you don't even have to do veggies on the side because you've made your tofu with the veggies. Yeah. So this is my favorite and yeah, I've had all the ones you've had. I've also had one which has a cashew cream mm. as a sauce. Um, yeah, so I think it's a, it's a very versatile ingredient. You can use it for different things. And funny enough, before um, I interacted with tofu, I had such, it had such a bad reputation. Mm. So people said how it was so bland and how it tasted awful mm. and I came in skeptical and and Having, I, I just believe anything can be awful. It just mm. depends on how you prepare yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Depends on how it's prepared. Yeah. So it's really important. And a reason I like bland food is because it's very easy to soak up all different yeah, flavors. Yeah, yes. yeah. So you that's why tofu is yeah. really good to, to prepare. Because just because it's bland, that makes it even better. Mm. Because it doesn't really have a strong taste. So it's easy to manipulate and make whatever you want. Mm. Um, also for people who want to do French toast uh, without egg, you can use tofu. Yes, yes. yes. So maybe we will do that recipe sometime soon. So I think that's good enough for now okay. because we shall cook it again. So yes. we can turn off the heat and then in the blender we can put in the spinach. Or maybe we can start with, which one is a bit more liquidy? This one? Yes, yes. It's just, I think the pan is a bit hot. Let me help you. You can pour it in. Okay. Um, so we'll just leave the pan here because we're going to use it again. And then now we can add in the spinach. I didn't go into cutting the spinach. You can cut it or pick it apart if you want, uh, but we're gonna blend it anyway, so. 
I'm just avoiding um, adding that liquid. extra liquid that was there so that um, we have the thickest and the creamiest um, yeah. consistency in terms of our sauce. Mm. And also the the water can be maybe a bit bitter because it was from already slightly because it cooked a bit being in the hot water. So now when you move to the cold water, it may be a bit bitter if you try to use it to cook. So in case you go to blend and you find that it's not as liquidy as you'd like it to be, you just add in some fresh water. I don't think I clicked it in well. Yeah. The handle has to be on the side, I think. Yes, yeah. there we go. Oops. Our blender is not plugged in. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, there we go. I just give it a pause to help the blender so that everything gets mm. mixed in well. I'll give it one more um, star. star. ready now yeah and just to show you the consistency we have um, almost it's a little thick mm. because of the spinach but that's the consistency you're supposed to be going for yeah so we'll go back to our pan and then we'll just add in just a little bit of oil just so that the spices don't make don't uh, stick to the bottom so as we said, we have turmeric here, we have cumin powder, and we have garam masala. So you can put in some chili if you want, and we also have some salt as well. So you can put in chili if you would like. Um, you can put in cayenne, yeah? So you just toast the spices just a little bit in the oil. Okay, and then now we can add in the spinach. Don't worry, it won't be this thick as we cook it. We'll add in a bit of coconut. So at this point, we'll add in our coconut. You can see it's turning a bit creamy. So once it just starts to bubble a little bit, you can put in your tofu. Yeah, 
there so it's, it's starting to bubble so you can put in the tofu before thank you there so just let it simmer and it's done you can have it with rice you can have it with naan you can have it with chapati um do you think it can be had with ugali uh, why not <laughs> why not <laughs> we can try it i mean this is a whole balanced diet because yeah. all you need here is a starch yeah. we have our veggie we have our protein yeah. yeah so even though i put in the salt you can want to taste just a bit maybe just add maybe just add up then maybe two pinches mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's fine Yeah, so it just simmers just a little bit. You also don't want to keep stirring because tofu is very fragile and of course because it's soaking in the liquid, it's very easy for it to start to crumble. Yes, um, yeah. when I was young, younger, um, I used to feel like green was such a gross color. So mm. when food was green, I would almost turn away from it. But trust me, this might be looking green, but it's absolutely it's amazing. It's really, really nice. Yeah. So let me just reduce that heat. So. And that's about it, right? Yeah, that's Anything it. Anything else? So, Sharon, would you want to taste this? Yeah. So, so um, just, um, just get a spoon and we can put it in this bowl here. Actually, you should taste because... Mm, it'll give you a nice plate. Okay. Get a fork. Okay. You go ahead the moment of truth <laughs> it looks good i hope it is as good as it looks I'm to sure, you i'm sure it will be mm -hmm. when nicole is silent most times the food is really good so if you're eating with her and she's talking maybe you need to check check the meal <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing it's nothing short of amazing and um, I know sometimes you can feel like the, the spinach would be um, bitter or anything. Or overbearing. Yeah. It's not overbearing. It's just green and that's why the meal looks like this. Mm. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this session with us. Mm -hmm. um, please, please, please don't just watch and sit on your couch. Get these ingredients and make this meal. Mm. And when you make it, kindly take a picture and tag Nairobi Central on any of the platforms and be sure to ask any questions you have in the comment section and for any advice or even if you've made this before and you have a hack that can help any of us mm. give us give us those hacks yeah thank you so much thank you Sharon for taking us through that thank you um, God bless all of you and have a blessed day evening morning whatever time it is you're watching this bye bye